Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus for the PS2. In the last episode, we completed two stages in Haiti, and now we're going to complete two more. And the two that I have in mind are actually minigames. These may or may not give me a hard time. And if I could get on the ground, that would be great. The first one I want to go to is the only place that we can go to now. And that is this area right here. Piranha Lake. This is quite possibly the hardest of the three levels that you initially have access to when you start this world. And with that, we need to get right on this. Now these things can be a rather slippery bunch, these piranhas. One of the best things that you can do is keep everything close together when it comes to lighting stuff up. That way, you won't be scrambling trying to figure out which torches you have hit and which ones you haven't. Two, the more fish you can run down at any one given time, the better. You definitely want to run down multiple fish at any one given moment. When you do that, you make this far easy on yourself. As long as you keep those two things in mind, you should be good. Also, you should have at least 14 torches done by the time you have a minute left. If you can get that many lit up, you can make this a lot easier on yourself. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. We need to light just one more. I need to find out where that last one is. I did not follow my own advice very carefully. Oh, there it is. I don't even know how much time I had left. That was wild. I'll probably find out once I... Uh, look through my footage. It was probably close though. But we now have the key for this. I can't believe I did this first try. I thought I'd be, re be retrying at least once, but thankfully that was not the case. And I'm able to do this. Now, we got in all three places that we can initially go to at the beginning of this world. Done. Which means we can now unlock this gate. And by unlocking that gate, the beast that we saw in the last video shows up and breaks this gate for us. And we should know what to do right now. Wait for a mask. Stay close behind it. That way you aren't caught by the searchlights. 
and you should be able to get through here okay. You don't want to go too far ahead. And the one place I want to go to right now is right here. We've got yet another minigame style stage, a ghastly voyage. This one is one of my favorites, so it can be a bit difficult. So once again, it's another twin stick shooter style stage, but this time it's the camera is behind Sly Cooper's back as opposed to being in a top-down position, much like the one from Sir Raleigh's Lair. I think it was, yeah, it was Sir Raleigh's Lair because that was the one with the chests and the crabs and whatnot. We need to start by shooting down these barricades that are protecting these headstones. That way we don't have to deal with the ghosts in large numbers. Also, we need to deal with this guy so he's not throwing masks at us anymore. That would be great. Now to see if we can do all this. I want to stay near the back of the boat here. Brilliant. That is exactly how I wanted to do that. Now we just need to, one, trigger the checkpoint, and two, get all these coins as we break the barricades. The more coins I can do and get, the better. I do want to get a charm here in case I get hit. That would be very, very useful, and thankfully I managed to get one right there. All right. Let's go ahead and try to get some more coins. And now we're going to have to deal with two headstones. Thankfully, we're not on the boat anymore. And the amount of space we have isn't terribly limited. We still want to shoot things out of our way because that will make it easier to move around as we do all this. And that's already one headstone gone. Now it's time to deal with the other one. Excellent. Now we got another one of these skull throwing guys. And we got the headstone. Obviously, we want to deal with the skull thrower first because he'll take less hits to die. According to my paranormal scanner, that skull is spooked in really highly charged exoplasm. It's just got to be the source of power for the headstone generator. So we need to get to the end and really gum up the works here. Thankfully, we don't have much to do. There's not much further to go. And thankfully, there's another checkpoint here. I want to trigger that. Now there is another headstone and another skull thrower. Ow, can't believe that happened. Really need to destroy this now. At least I got a bit of a reprieve from getting hit that way. And now, we have this area to deal with. There are two skull throwers, but I think as long as we just stay on the move here, kind of, a little bit, we should be able to take the, these two guys down. Excellent. We're getting pretty close to getting another charm here. I want to make sure that I actually get the charm. That was really risky, but I managed to get it. Now I got three headstones to take care of, and I can't believe I already took care of one of them. Just trying to make sure I got another hit. And now that's one more down, so we're now down to just the one. Oh boy. Thankfully, once you get the numbers on the headstones down, it's a lot easier. And just like that, 
we now have the key for this stage. Got a little hectic there, but I believe... Well, I knew it was possible. I believed it was possible. And just like that, we've gotten this done already. We are now 51% of the way through the game. That was quick. That only took us 10 minutes. That was a little faster than I expected. Of course, now that we've got two mini games down, the real work is about to begin. But that will have to wait until the next video. Join me next time where we take on two more levels in the third chapter of this game. Until then, this is Prince Watercrass. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!